Yeah, if you take it that way. Yeah, you know I'm what? like, oh. That's, that's, that's a good Well, hopefully. Like, let's make sure I, I run the, that by every host from now on. <laughs> the listeners, you know what I, I hope you know what I meant. Now that we cleared it up, they know what you Yeah, mean. now that we clear it up, like, they're like, oh, 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 what I'm listening to here. They'd be like, that's what Cortez uh, sounds like when they're doing it. No Michael Sam. That, that, that was a safety net for that guy. You know, there's always that guy that twists it into that kind of thing. You got so cut that, again. That's good. That's that, that guy insurance. You got yeah, cut again. Yeah, Michael Sam getting cut again. Dang it. Uh, oh, let me, let me. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're saying he's not in NFL because he's gay. You, you hear about that story, Ambro? Whack. Yeah, yeah, it's it's because he can't gay, play football. Whack. Wasn't yeah. Ricky Williams gay? He can't play. No, Ricky Williams wasn't gay. <laughs> Yes. This one I heard that someone. No. He just smoked weed. He just smoked weed. He was, he a, just smoked he weed. was eccentric. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't gay. Because yeah. I saw his girlfriend one time. He, 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 I mean, that don't mean nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Meant something to me. You ever <laughs> been to Atlanta? Exactly. You been to Atlanta? <laughs> Dude, hot Atlanta. That's what they all are. Atlanta, man. Oh, man. Oh, you I, been to Orlando? <laughs> 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 they all live there, too. Oh, boy. Well, oh, we can't, we can't say that. Yeah, we're in Jacksonville. Well, I haven't seen him, man, so I, at oh, least shit. I try to avoid him when I at go least all, here. all right, uh, talk a little bit about Charles your Browns. I know you want to talk a little bit about that before we go into basketball. Give a oh, shout out to your Browns. Brown. No, no, he's a he's a Patriots fan, but oh. Brian Hoyer came oh. from the Patriots. So, oh. so Brian Hoyer is a Cleveland boy. It, it, it's a little bit of that, but it's like, man, also this man is out there. Like, this is my thing, right? We all know the Browns, like, uh, uh, you know, not to throw shade your way, but it's similar to Jacksonville. It's just been a bad Dark cloud kind of hanging over that organization. Not too many wins, not too much great things to talk about in the past couple years, you know. And Mm -hmm. they finally got a good thing in Brian Hoyer. And this is like his weapons aren't all that great. You know what I mean? If anything, I give him credit for this because he's actually playing with adversity with all this like quarterback controversy behind him. You know what I mean? His defense isn't anything crazy. And his weapons aren't really much to speak of either, but he's winning. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, it seems like every week I turn on the television, you know, or, or, or like look at anything coming from the Browns organization, it's always another, he's always like on his last chance thing, like a last warning kind of a thing. Like, hey, if he has a bad game this week, is when he finally started Manziel. It's like, how about you be happy with winning? Finally. You finally won. Like, why See, are you trying thing, to mess that up? The thing is, that's not coming from the, that's not coming from the team. That's coming from the Everyone outside of the team. The media. The team knows what they're doing. Not not, not necessarily because it's like they're coming from the – in the form of anonymous quotes and things like that, and then the media starts blowing it up. I can give them a freaking anonymous quote that that Johnny Manziel is going to start. It don't mean nothing unless it comes from the big dog. Well, he he ain't going going nowhere. He's going to get I see. I only take in account the people who mention at least where it comes from. And most of the time it's usually coming from someone within the – or they'll never specify who – but someone within the organization and someone, you know, uh, basically like, around the situation. It's like all like, the Chris you know Broussard sources. Chris Broussard sources. Yeah, we can see how nah, shit No, no, not Chris like. Broussard. But, <laughs> some, but, it, but, yeah, it's like, and my thing is just like, why? Like, I'm not sure why. Even Mike Patton, he's like, they've actually talked about that, like, you know, not um, projecting him as a quarterback of the future. Brian Hoyer is not like a 40-year-old quarterback. What future? Like, he, he, he is – potentially is a future quarterback, you know what I mean, if you give him that kind of time. But Mike Patton and, you know, a few other people in that organization have made comments about Brian or Johnny Manziel being the future of it, and they keep going with that despite the fact he hasn't played one one NFL game. Honestly, I, this is what I'm over If they do get rid of Brian Hoyer or let Manziel start, if Manziel crashes and burns, man, I, I, I hope Brian Hoyer leaves and they just go back on another 10-year drought of struggle. Cause that's what they get. Like you, you, you don't, you don't, you don't appreciate the guy you finally got winning for this sad, sad organization. And at least in terms of sports, it's a sad city. Well, they, well, well, they might hear soon. You know, LeBron's back. You know, <laughs> Indians got Indians got a good coach. You know, and, and Frank Ona. So you know they, they got a, they got some bright, they got some little, um, some bright glimmers in the in the horizon. So we, they have been. Historically horrible in the past, the, but um, they got the, they got they're the changing hope. their ways. Do they got the hope or wish factor. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they changing their they ways. They hope things go wrong. Yeah, they they gonna be all right. They not gonna be but, in a drought like so, like we say, Jack. But Jacksonville is so we can't say they'll be bad either because they everybody started to turn around. This is the turnaround season. And it's also, the, it, my my thing with scrambling quarterbacks, i.e. Johnny Manziel, is this right? And I'm not talking about quarterbacks that can scramble. I'm just talking about script like people who like look to do it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I've never been sold on one. 
maybe the only one who I might be sold on, even him, I don't really consider him as bad as Russell Wilson because he has discipline. But it's like these dudes play too much Madden. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they, they hop in, you know, they outrun some bumps who are never going to make it in the NFL and college, and they think they're just, like, Speedy Gonzalez fast. They go in the NFL, and they try that, and they end up like Michael Vick. You know what I mean? They go, they run, but man, Vince Wilfork <laughs> size dudes can run four nines. You're not that fast, okay? Everybody like, yeah, everybody's an athlete. Yeah, you're right, but other people are winning. Yeah, that's the athletes here, yeah, so. You know what I mean? It's like they, they try to win off it's athleticism, but it's like, stop being so, tr- like, uh, like, run happy and learn how to throw the ball. And I feel like if they do put Johnny Manziel in, it's going to be another thing like that. It's going to be hey. another dude who just looks to run and make all these highlight plays. I mean, he, he gets he's already shown he gets, like, caught up in the lights and all that kind of garbage. That's, like, what he lives for, you know what I mean? So yeah. He's, he's the type of person who's going to try to make the highlight. And this is my assumption. He's going to try yeah, to make yeah, the yeah. highlight plays because, one, he, it worked for him in college, so that's a habit that he built up. And two, that's just who he is. That's, that's his whole brand. Manziel this, you know, money signs. Manziel you know, all this other garbage that he does, man. I, I feel like he'll Manziel crash and burn is, in there. He's, so, he's not going to – I don't see him getting getting no further. I, I don't see him being a star in the NFL. Neither I do see I. Him, I see him being either a second place, I mean, probably a, a, a bench warmer, like a clipboard holder. Because his, his style is going gonna, gonna to wear out pretty soon. You know, people are getting tired of running running quarterback. Here's what happens. Yeah, when he gets his it, chance, man. he'll do good because nobody's seen. Yeah. They, then when people it'll figure do good him for out, he's maybe done. one yeah. season. He's done. And then he'll end up like RG3 or Cam Newton in his second year or Michael Vick. I mean, we can just keep going on. Mm. Colin well, Kaepernick see, right now. I mean, they, it's hey, like they hey, all break down. Hey, the like, bad thing is, the bad thing Let's just, leave San Francisco. The bad thing is we always, <laughs> the bad thing is we always put Michael thing. Vick into this conversation. Yeah. Michael Vick, when he was in Atlanta, was probably, probably one of the best, best. quarterbacks in the no. NFL. Because he could throw it. Easily. Right. Because yeah. he could throw it. What happened to him is later on down the road, he got hurt, and after that dog stuff, he started getting hurt because he was like, away from the game. Dogs, because, because he was away from the game. He went, he done the dog stuff, and then after that is yeah, when he went downhill. Yeah, Before that up. dog stuff, he was one of the most dynamic, best quarterbacks in the NFL. Because he was one of them. Well, here's what I'll say. I agree with but you. But now here's everybody's like why, why yeah. I throw him into it. Just He's definitely the best of all of those. But this is why I throw him in the conversation. Because eventually it's like they get you, man. Like they, these are big, fast dudes who are whose job it is to knock the hell out of you. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but his first. I, hit that way, it, I mean, the only reason I can't definitively say about him, because, you know, you're, you're right about the dogfighting scandal. That did take some time away. So that might have had an effect as well. Wait, I would have liked to see what he did after with his response to getting hurt. Because that's usually how it goes. They get hit, and they keep trying, and they keep breaking down, and they get replaced. I can't say that about Vic because we never got to – he didn't have the same kind of timeline that everyone does, but he did follow the model of running, being a star athlete, then getting hurt. Like, Colin Kaepernick mm-hmm. looked great his, when he first started, and then he started getting hit and started figuring it out. You know what I mean? He, he wasn't, like, big level great, but he was still very good. You know what I mean? And it's like yeah. – Vic is definitely the best different. of them all, but yeah. they always follow the Everybody's same timeline. Everybody's the same way now. They war. Everybody's I mean, the same right way. now you got faster defenders. Like, oh, when yeah. Vic first came in the league from now – the quarterbacks who are scrambling are scrambling simply because they're faster defenders out there. Oh, yeah. You have to be able to scramble now. Even Peyton Manning is trying but to be was, elusive in the pocket. But, there was, you have see, but I, I, I'm there. okay with that. I'm not okay with people who, like, are, tr- like, what happens. Run first, like, pass, second. try to run yeah. all the time. Like, yeah. like, Colin Kaepernick, in my opinion, is not even necessarily a passer. He's someone who can pass. He's the other way around. He's someone who can run well and pass decent. It should be the other way around. Like, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is a perfect... Uh, person for me of what you should be as a quote unquote scrambling quarterback. Even Russell Wilson, Wilson too. Uh, Wilson, Russell, he scrambles, Russell, but he looked the pass. When Russell he rounds out. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You need to learn that part first. Well, that's what comes thing. first. You're not a yeah. running back. back you know? the day, all these scramblers, they learn how to run first, and they <laughs> you, they lean on that and they get hurt. The reason they never left Vic's receivers though is because Vic could always throw the damn ball seventy yards off his back foot <laughs> yeah. on the run while taking a nap while fighting a dog. <laughs> <laughs> And Texas. Oh, yeah, see, see, Vic's arm is, little, is what saved him, what made him go much longer than the rest of them. Like, Colin Kaepernick, he's not a great passer to me. And when you when you take his run game why away, that's when he struggles. Why are Colin Kaepernick again? Because he's, he, 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 he's a 49ers he, he's fan, so. <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, you take, take another one, you know, take whoever else. Like, the fact Tim Tebow was even entertained, like, is already a problem. Like, why, why did you. you ever entertain a guy who can't throw? 
Yeah. See, this is where I got the problem, though. <laughs> this is where I got the problem with everybody saying he can't throw. He, he, it's not the fact that he can't throw. He got a uh, he got a elongated throwing That's motion. That's the thing, because he can throw. Which is very irritating. He can throw. It's just his throwing motion stuff. So. Yeah, and then yeah, he can throw. I mean, but that, but even with that, though, that like, it's just yeah. like, you know, the weakest part of your game as a quarterback can't be throwing. Or yeah. it can't even be a weak part of your game. It can't. And, and it seems like for Set all these scramblers, I won't say the name again, you know, but the other people, it seems like they, that's Anybody like the last that? thing they worry about is throwing, which is like ridiculous. Oh, no, I'm not saying that. But everybody that says he won, he won a goddamn playoff game. He's done yeah, more, he he's done more than people. So did, I'm going to say, did he win a playoff game or did Pittsburgh lose a playoff game? He won the playoff game. And I can, I can on top say of that, what I'm saying is this. He like, threw for friggin' four. Won he won threw for yeah. almost 400 yards. He, he, he threw for he, almost 400 yards on the number one defense in the NFL. Yeah. There you he, go. Yeah. Definitely Point good blank. Some that's games. That's, that's he's definitely, right. Tebow, you can't take that away from him. He's definitely good to win he's some clutch. games. But he's in a league where where the objective is to win a Super Bowl, there is no way you will ever win with Tim Tebow or any one of those scramblers that I mentioned because of the way they play. And as soon as they get someone who knows how to game plan for that scramble, they're done because they never worked on their armor accuracy and whatnot. But they worked on those legs, though. Until you find someone who's fast like you, you're done. They get so hung up on being faster than bums in college. Like, just because you can outrun linebackers and linemen and cross them up in college, they're not making it to the NFL. That's exactly why you ran past them. The same thing on defense on, on, the, defense on the pocket passer as well. If you hit him the right way, you can shut down the pocket passer. Ask Denver. Absolutely. <laughs> so it's, it's not. You should be able to move, but that shouldn't be your defense primary Defense wins championships. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't, yeah the quarterback, yeah. quarterback, as long as the quarterback can maintain the game, whether he's a scrambler or mm-hmm. a passer, the fact still remains defense wins championships. If you have a good defense behind yeah. you, all you got to do is That's the reason, like, the like look, that's the prime defense example last game. year. Trent well, Dilfer. Yeah, yeah, Trent, Trent, yeah, Trent Dilfer. Dilfer won a Super Bowl. Wow. Trent, Trent game Dilfer too. and Peyton Manning can give you the best examples ever. Yeah, he had. Peyton Manning was an excellent yeah. quarterback. Who Man, won Trent Dilfer annoys me that he even has an opinion half the time. Like, he'll Still sit won. here and talk about yeah. how Brady fell off, and it's like, man, are, are you serious? Still won a Super Bowl. But he won a Super Bowl. With a great defense. With a great defense. Just look at the look at teams that. that win the Super Bowl, and most of what they have in common is they have defense. a – Superb defense. So San Fran can win the Super Bowl because we have a great defense. Yeah, but not that good. Once everybody comes back up. If you stop beating women, <laughs> y'all be all right. Hey, man. And he's a gator. I'm, I'm a Ooh. Ray, Ray, Ray McDonald. Hey, Ray McDonald played for the Gators. And he still played play for us. Play. Damn them people. Them gators, uh, man. The gators, man. The gators, we murder. <laughs> we murder, murder kill, people. beat up people, try to break people's necks. And but Tim the Tebow, Tebow was the, the man. He had to do look, all if that. It, if, <laughs> look, if it, went, if it went for Tim on them gators team, them guys would have ran a muck, and probably Gainesville would have been burnt to the ground. Florida, uh, G- Gainesville would have been burnt to the ground if it wasn't for Tim. Yeah, that was it. Raging, yeah, true. Raging I, gators, man. Tim gave him Jesus. Housey twins, too? Holy Tim had to put Jesus in. <laughs> and that's why, and that's another reason why college football, man, like, you see the points they put up. Defense is not a factor in a lot of college football games. Oh, I disagree wholeheartedly. Not necessarily. I disagree wholeheartedly. I think, it, I think it's very different just looking at the point averages and well, looking Kyle, at how the quarterback sets up. Well, that, see, well, that he's from a, look, look, look he lives up the north. NFL. They don't know. Are you talking about the Big Ten yeah, They don't know college. They don't. Or the. Up there, they don't the know pack. college. The SEC is nothing but defense. That's just go back and look at how many SEC defensive guys have gotten drafted from the SEC. And you'll see why we're oh, going I, on the national championship. I don't say that they don't produce talent. I don't say that they don't produce talent. The I'm SEC. saying that in terms of in terms of defensive schemes and things like that, and, and like the intensity of it, is nothing compared to that of the NFL. Alabama runs a pro style defense. Look who their coach is. That, you Roll tie. And, that's, and that's another one of my points too. When you have to pull like like one, like hey, there's that one that just goes on. But it's so not much. just one. Look at Florida. Look at LSU. The LSU. Look, just go back in the draft. Look at all the guys that got drafted. There's a reason why they got drafted that high. It's Auburn, because their defenses were damn good. Auburn defense damn last good. Year had probably what, five because that player was good, though. No, that that it wasn't because that player was good. It's because the players were good and the system was in place. Their defense the play, is in. The pl- player was good at executing that 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 job that they had to do. Players, really players, see you're defense. missing it. I said go back and look in the first round of the draft. How many Alabama guys on defense got drafted in one draft? Six in one year, all from the same defense. Players, 
players. Well, the reason players. they're good down here is because we recruit the best players. We put them into the system. We put them in the pro.